Hi everybody, Andrew here. So uh, in this video we're gonna continue working on our simple Gizmo Manager script and um, we're gonna add support for multiple target objects. So if you remember from last time, uh, we uh, we added support so we, we can only control one object at a time. Yeah? If, I, if I enter play mode and um, click on game objects, the move, the, the move Gizmo can only move like one object at a time. The same and, and the same goes for the other types of, uh, of gizmos. Yeah. So uh, in this in this tutorial, what I want to do is um, I want to add support for uh, multiple objects at the same time. And it's actually really simple to do. And aside from that, what we're also going to do is we're going to implement a simple uh, object selection mechanism that will allow you to um, append objects uh, to the current selection using the control key and deselect. Uh, deselect objects if the control key is pressed and you click on an object which is already selected. Yeah, so what I mean is uh, uh, the, the, the same functionality that you can uh, witness in, that you can actually uh, try in, in Unity. So you, you just click on game objects, yeah, but if you hold down the control key, you append objects to the selection. And if you hold on the control key and you click on an object that is already selected, it will remove the object from the selection. Yeah, we'll, let's just do the same thing in this tutorial. So because, the, because we're now going to use multiple target objects, uh, we no longer need this uh, variable here. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a list of game objects, and I'm going to call this selected objects. Yeah, I'm just going to instantiate it right here. All right, and now we just need to link this list to the to our gizmos. Yeah, it's it's as simple as that. We just need to link to uh, link this uh, list to um, all four gizmos. So I'm going to say object move gizmo dot set target objects. Yeah, so there's two uh, functions, set target object, which we, we've used in previous videos. And now we're going to use set, tar set target objects with the S at the end. And I'm going to call selected objects. Now, uh, when we call this function, the, the gizmo will actually maintain a direct reference to this list right here. Yeah. So when you, uh, the, the function will not perform a copy, there, there is no copy being performed here. Uh, it will maintain a direct reference to this list. So that means that when, when you add or remove stuff from this list, the gizmo automatically, you know, contains the most updated version, the most recent version of the list. Yeah. It, because it maintains a direct reference. So you don't need to call this function every time you adjust the selected objects list, right? Okay, so um, set target for that. Let's do the same for the rotation gizmo and then for the scale gizmo and the universal gizmo also. Uh, scale gizmo and universal gizmo. Okay, good. Now uh, let's actually start implementing our simple selection mechanism. So what I want to do here is, again, like before, we pick a game object in the scene, and now if a game object was picked, which means that the game object, the picked object is not null, we're gonna need to handle both cases. Yeah, so if a game object it was picked, uh, let's check if the control key is pressed. So if a game object is picked and the control key is pressed, then we have two choices. If the game object is already selected, we remove the game object from the selection. Yeah? So if we, we, if we pick the game object and the left control key is pressed and the game object is already selected, we remove it from, uh, we remove it from the selection. Let's just add some curly braces here. All right. And if it's not selected, then we append it to the current selection. So we say add pick game object. Okay. Now, if the control key is not picked, uh, what happens is that we clear. So the, the behavior is we clear whatever is currently selected, and we add only the object that we clicked on, right? That was clicked. And if the picked object is null, we go here, and in that case, it means we clicked you know, in thin air, and what we do is we just clear the current object selection, right? Now, previously, uh, we had this on target object changed function, which uh, was called whenever we changed the, the current target object. Now, this is no longer needed because we're now dealing with multiple game objects. Uh, so I'm going to change the name to on selection changed, and we're going to delete this. And 
then what we have to do is we have to first erase these yeah so we no longer need to call set target object when when um, when dealing with multiple objects because uh, we already store a direct reference to the selected objects here via set target objects so we no longer need to do this um, and instead of checking if the target object is null we actually have to check if selected objects that count is not zero yeah so previously we, we were checking if we have a target object now because we're using multiple target objects we just have to check if this is not zero right and if it's not zero then we activate the uh, we enable the work is mo and something else that we need to do is we have to call work is mo refresh position and rotation now the reason why we need to call this function refresh position and rotation um, it will become a little bit more obvious when we talk about transform spaces and um, uh, transform pivots. The idea is that the position and rotation of a gizmo uh, depends on these two properties, uh, transform space and, uh, tra and uh, transform pivot. And uh, whenever the, you know, whenever the, whenever we add or remove objects to the selected objects list, we need to just refresh. We, we need to make sure that the position and rotation of the gizmo is up to date. Yeah, so we just we need to do that. Uh, all right, and now uh, what we also need to do is we, we pretty much need to do the same, the exact same thing here. Yeah. So if there are any objects selected, when we change the active gizmo, if there are any objects selected, we enable the work gizmo, and then uh, we refresh its position and rotation. Yeah? And uh, now we have to go here and make sure that whenever we add or remove stuff from the selected objects list, we call the on selection changed function to give the gizmos a chance to uh, you know update themselves accordingly yeah and now let me just uh, press uh, play mode and let's see I'm gonna click on individual objects okay now I'm gonna start from left to right and I'm gonna hold down the control key and as you can see as I hold on the control key and click on different objects they, they get you know they uh, get added to the current selection so I can control all of them but if I hold down the control key and click on an object that is already selected let's say the wooden crate right here that objects that object will be deselected and now I can you know now I control these three instead yeah and if I click in thin air it will deselect all objects yeah? and again W E R T uh, can be used to switch between uh, different gizmo types yeah uh, all right so yeah that's uh, that's it from this video uh, in the next video we're going to talk about gizmo transform spaces all right thank you very much for watching i wish you a nice day bye bye